Creo Schematics allows you to create block diagrams, circuit diagrams, piping and instrumentation diagrams, and wiring diagrams, which I use for cabling. Let's take a look at how to install Creo Schematics. I've downloaded and unzipped the build code. Here I have it in this folder. I'm going to go to the setup.exe file. I'm going to right click on it and choose to run as administrator. Yes, I'm going to allow this to make changes to my device. And here we have the installation assistant on the install new software screen. Actually, I'm going to make sure that I have the radio button selected for install new software. Then click the next button. And I'm going to accept the license agreement and check the box for the export agreement and then click next. And for the different licenses in here, none of these licenses are good. Let me get rid of the ones that I'm not going to use and then use the open button to grab one from my set of license files, wherever they are. And let's see, let's grab this one. Looks like the latest and I'll click the open button. It says it's available. Now let's click next. And here it's checked Creo and Creo Schematics 4.0. That's great. Let's click the install button and we are on our way. And the installation is complete. I can click the finish button to get out of the installer. And if I take a look on my desktop, here I have the icon for launching it. I can right click on it and go to properties. And here we see that in the dialog box, I always like to change this to the folder where I'm going to store any of my different setup files. And I have them stored on my computer in a folder called C slash Creo. Let's click the OK button. Hit the continue to say that, yep, I have permission to make those changes. Now double click on the icon in order to launch Creo Schematics. And it opened successfully. I have a light license. There are a few restrictions on Creo Schematics Lite versus the full version, but at this point I am able to create different wiring diagrams so that I can perform cabling using logical referencing in Creo Parametric. To test that I'm able to create something, let's click on the new button. And there is a default name for the design. I'm not going to change that. There's an option to use a template, but I haven't set up my templates yet. So I will just click the OK button. And here we have the Design Explorer. From in here, I could create new sheets. And we have some default templates in here. I'm a big fan of B size, so I can choose that. Double click on the sheet to open it. There you see it open on the computer screen. So in future videos, I'll be showing you how to configure Creo Schematics, set up your different formats, set up your catalogs with everything that you would want to use in order to create your wiring diagrams. One last thing I want to mention is that if you are new to Creo Schematics, in the Creo Schematics load point is a packed design that you can use as the basis for creating new designs. So you're not starting completely from scratch. So I'm in Creo Schematics. I'm going to hit the open button. I'm going to navigate to where I have Creo Schematics installed on my computer. And I'm in Creo Schematics 4.0, MO10 build code. And there inside of the schematics folder is a Creo Schematics folder. I'm going to double click on it. And it's going to look like there are just a bunch of different folders in here. But if you change the type drop down list either to packed design or all files, you'll see this demo db.rsd. I'll click the open button. And here we have a bunch of predefined sheets. So this a packed design that was extracted now has a sheet for block diagram, circuit diagram, wiring diagram, bid, and WID. So I can start with the WID sheet. And you can see that already has some connectors and blocks located on here and some wires routed. If you go to the Catalog Explorer, you'll notice that already has a bunch of different blocks in here. For example, if I go to Wiring, hey, here are a bunch of different wiring blocks that I could use. So for example, let me expand in here. 
some other different objects that I can use. If you go to the drop down list and change to groups, here we have underneath wiring, some predefined cables, multi level cable, ribbon shielded, and some right handed, left handed connectors, and so forth. And also, if you go to fibers, here we have a few different predefined wires that you can use for starting out. So again, when you are first going into Creo Schematics, there are resources, so you are not starting from the ground level. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.